When Nissan needed a brawny petrol engine for its full-size trucks, SUVs and luxury flagships, it created the VK56 family, debuting in 2004 inside the North American built Armada, this aluminium V8 quickly became the heartbeat of the Titan pickup, Patrol, Infiniti, QX56 and even commercial vans. Two core versions exist, the early VK56 DE with port injection and the later VK56 VD that adds direct injection plus variable valve lift. Let's unpack the design, evolution, known weak points and long-term durability of this 5.6 litre powerhouse. The VK56 block is an open deck aluminium casting reinforced by ductile iron cylinder liners. Bore grows to 98 millimeters and stroke remains 92 millimeters, yielding 5,552 cubic centimeters of displacement. Six bolt main caps, forged steel crank, 154 millimeters rods, and moly coated pistons give the engine a stout bottom end capable of heavy towing duty. A deep alloy sump doubles as a structural girdle for extra rigidity. Lightweight aluminium heads carry dual overhead camshafts per bank actuating four valves each via hydraulic lifters. On early DE units, CVTCS alters intake timing only. The VD upgrade adds VVEL on both cams, varying lift and duration continuously. Generous 37 mm intake and 31.5 mm exhaust valves feed pent roof chambers, while composite rocker covers and an equally lightweight plastic intake save kilos up high. The DE version relies on multi-port injection and a 9.8 to 1 compression ratio. In 2010, Nissan unleashed the VK56 VD Endurance DIG, substituting high-pressure direct injectors up to 2000 PSI and bumping compression to 11.2 to 1. A twin electronic throttle body keeps response crisp, and revised heads accept centrally mounted injectors for cleaner, knock-resistant combustion. Beyond direct injection, the VD gains Nissan's multi-control valve coolant system for faster warm-ups and tighter temperature control, VVL rocker shafts slash pumping losses, raising both power and efficiency. Net results, 400 horsepower tunes in Patrol or Y62 and up to 420 horsepower in Infinity applications, all on regular unleaded. The Nissan VK56 5.6 V8 is a strong performer, but it's not without some recurring issues that can affect reliability, especially with age or poor maintenance. Here's a streamlined overview of the most common weak points to watch for. Low quality fuel can destroy the catalytic converters producing ceramic dust. This dust may be pulled into the engine, causing cylinder wall scoring, high oil consumption and a rough running engine. If ignored, the damage often leads to major internal wear requiring a full engine rebuild or replacement. The high pressure fuel pump, HPFP, is prone to wear, especially on low grade fuel. Debris from the pump can contaminate oil, contributing to timing chain wear, especially on the right side chain, which also drives the pump. Symptoms often appear before 60,000 miles. Premature timing chain stretch can happen as early as 50,000 miles, especially under hard driving. It affects valve timing, causes a rough idle, and can lead to expensive repairs. Nissan has acknowledged this in some markets with limited recalls or service campaigns. Early VK56 models had unreliable cooling fans, which can seize and cause the engine to overheat. This leads to warped heads, blown gaskets, or even liner deformation. Regular coolant checks and fan inspections are crucial to prevent thermal damage. At over 125,000 miles wear on fuel injector seats and issues in the VVL variable valve system may appear. These can cause misfires, poor idle and are expensive to fix due to system complexity. The VK56 family blends old school V8 torque with lightweight construction and modern variable valve wizardry. Yes, timing chains, catalytic dust and early cooling fans can bite inattentive owners, but diligent maintenance turns this 5.6 litre into a long lived companion. Whether you're hauling a trailer, climbing dunes in a patrol or cruising in an Infiniti QX, treat it well and Nissan's American built V8 will repay you with decades of dependable grunt.